Febrile seizures or febrile convulsions are uh, a very common phenomena in children, especially between the ages of six months and six years of age. Having a seen a febrile seizure, uh, a convulsion in a child, is one of the most frightening episodes parents can experience. Actually, one study showed that 95% of parents that experienced a febrile seizure thought their child is going to die. Very frightening. There are two types of seizures in children, and as pediatricians, we're not that concerned about febrile seizures. The one type is called a simple febrile seizure, and that is a seizure that takes less than 15 minutes, involves both sides of the body, right and left, and happens only once over a 24 hour period. Complex febrile seizures are those that are longer, more than 15 minutes, involves only one side of the body and could be more than one episode in a duration of 24 hours. One of the biggest concerns parents uh, are telling us is that they're worried that their child is going to have epilepsy in the future, a convulsion disorder that is very concerning and frightening to many of us as parents. We now know from research that having a febrile seizure with a simple or a complex febrile seizure does not make your child prone to having epilepsy in the future. The rate of epilepsy among children that had seizures as kids during febrile illness and those that didn't have seizures during febrile illness is just the same. So although it is very frightening to see febrile seizures, this is not uh, an episode or an illness in itself. And what we need to do as a pediatrician is to try and find what's the source for the fever, what's causing the infection that is responsible for having a high temperature in your child.